So today is third day of glories of uh, holy name. And we have already discussed about uh, Sanatan Goswami and how Jagai Mathai, they were, uh, you know, uh, the most uh, fallen souls, they were uplifted by none other than Ch uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and uh, Nityananda Goswami. So today we shall be discussing about Haridas Thakur, another soul. So before we start today's session, let us pray to Radha Rani, uh, Radha Damodar. These are the uh, presenting deities in the temple, Iskon Temple in Mangalore. So let us pray for them. Om Magyana Timiranda Se Gyananjan Shalakaya Chakshur Ulmi Litam Ena Tasmai Shri Gurve Namaha Om Namo Vishnu Padaya Krishna Peshtaya Bhutale Shri Mate Bhakti Vedant Swaminiti Namine Namaste Saraswati Devi Gaurvarni Pracharani Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Pashat Deshatarni Jayo Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda, Shri Advait Gadadhar, Shri Vasadikar Bhakta Prinda, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So, just uh, a small recap, please, uh, Usha Mataji, I request again those who have not yet read this text, please uh, take your turn. And one by one, as the slides change, please uh, recite. Okay. Yeah. Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Thank you, Mataji. Yes, please. Whatever result was obtained in Satya Yoga by meditating on Vishnu? Yes. In Trita Yoga by performing sacrifices and in Dwapa Yoga by serving the Lot lotus feet can be obtained in Kali Yoga, Kali Yoga simply by chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra, Srimad Bhavadam 12.3.52. Yes. Uh, yes. So in this slide, you can say Krate Yad Dhyayetu Vishnum Treta Yam Yajetu Makhai Dwapare Parcharyayam Kalau Tad Dhari Kirtanath. Whatever result was obtained in Satya Yuga by meditation, in uh, Treta Yuga by uh, performing sacrifices, and in uh, Dwapar Yuga by deity worship or worshipping the holy lotus feet of Lord Krishna, the same result can be obtained in Kali Yuga simply by chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra. So this is the glory of Mahamantra. Yes, next. Please raise your digital hand so that I can see and then I can request you. Yes. Yes, please continue, Mataji. Um, prostitute Mataji. delivered by Haridas Thakur. Haridas Thakur stayed for some time in the forest of Binapula. He constructed a cottage in the forest. Outside the cottage, he planted a tulsi plant and he would chant the holy name of Krishna three lakh times daily in front of tulsi. He chanted throughout the entire day and night. For his bodily maintenance, he would go to Brahman's house and beg some food. He was so spiritually pure that all the neighboring people worshipped him. The ruler of that district was Ramachandra Khan. He was envious of devotees of Krishna and therefore a great atheist. Unable to tolerate the respect being offered to Haridas Thakur, he made plans to dishonor him. He could not, however, find any fault in the character of Haridas Thakur. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Mataji. So just to introduce uh, uh, Srila Haridas Thakur to you. In fact, he was born in a Muslim family. And he writes since birth. That was uh, in village Buron in Khulna district, in, you know, which is now in Bangladesh. And he was right from his birth, he was devoted to Lord Krishna. He was uh, uh, in the childhood, very childhood, he started chanting the name of Lord Vishnu, Lord Krishna all the time. The local administrator in that village and the place was very much annoyed. Being a, being a Muslim, he was having Hindu practice as a religion. He was practicing religion or Hindu religion. So he was very much annoyed and he used to have jealousy and hatred towards this man. 
So he warned uh, Haridas Thakur number of times this as a child, and when he did not stop, then he was presented before the Ram Chandra Khan, who was the administrator of that district or the king of that district or Nawab of that district, and uh, Ram Chandra Khan he ordered a trial of this person, uh, Haridas Thakur, who was a child at that time. So Haridas Thakur was still adamant. No, he uh, stated that God is one. And there is no harm in uh, uh, chanting uh, holy, holy name because Krishna is supreme. So he was uh, ordered to be beaten. And, and th that district at that time, there was 22 marketplaces. So he ordered his uh, you know, uh, soldiers to take Haridas Thakur to different market areas. And as an exemplary treatment, hit, uh, the, uh, beat him up at all those 22 places and drag him around the roads so that others, other Muslims do not take up Hindu religious practices. So that was a deterrent, he was punished. But surprisingly, when he was being beaten up, being beaten up by this, uh, these soldiers in marketplaces, he did not cry, there was no pain, there was not a single mark of injury. He tolerated everything in a very composed manner and he continued his uh, chanting of Lord Krishna's name. So this is a, ultimately when uh, they, they reported to the king or the Nawab of the district Ramchandra Khan that this boy is so adamant, he continues and he's not crying even, he, there is no effect of beating on his body. So they threw him in Ganges ultimately, he came out and then he continued with his practice. And second uh, uh, pastime, uh, surprising pastime is that when in order to avoid public gaze while he was chanting, he used to sit even the toilet and go public toilet and uh, used to go chanting. And there was another place there. He cut out a, there was a cave in the root of a uh, tree. There was a small cave type place, which where he could build hide and continue his chanting. And in this uh, cave, there used to live a uh, serpent, a very poisonous snake. So somebody told him that you are sitting here, hiding here. There is a snake also inside this uh, cave. So now Haridas Thakur, he prayed to that snake that please, if that is your home, I will leave. But if you want me to chant here, please leave this place and let me chant peacefully. Serpent came out, the snake came out and it left that place. So these are some miraculous happenings with when he was a child, which are associated with his child, childhood. And he took Diksha from Advaita Char. He, he was... He teamed up with Nityanand Prabhu and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also uh, when Jagai Mathai were, were being, uh, you know, uh, in, a, in, in in abbreviated and intoxicated state. So he was also with that team. And his Samadhi is st uh, still is, uh, is still uh, there in uh, Jagannath Puri, uh, Haridas Thakur. And he, he used to chant so many times uh, Lord's name or the Hare Krishna Mahamantra, that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu named him as Namachari. He was the Achari of Nam because he was continuously day and night chanting only. And uh, you'll come to it just now, you have read that 300,000 times daily in front of Tusi he used to uh, chant the holy name of Mahamantra. So this is a brief background of, uh, as, I, as I told you, the Ramchandra Khan, who was a local uh, district administrator, he or had ordered his trial. And when during the trial, he said that khand khand he deha jai jadi prana tabu ami badne na chadi hari nama. You cut my body into hundreds uh, small, small pieces, but I will, this body will not stop chanting the name of hari nama. So this is a brief glorious uh, childhood pastime of Hari Das Thakur. Yes, Pataji. Uh, now, second is Srila Mataji. Prabhuji, uh, I want to ask one thing. Yes, Mataji. Uh, the name uh, name is uh, Haridash uh, Thakur. Yeah. So, uh, Srila means what Prabhuji? Because in uh, uh, Prabhupada uh, name, it is Srila pra, pra, Prabhupada, right? We Like we have Veda Vyasa. There are many Veda Vyasa. The, they are having some meaning, right? Veda Vyasa, the compiler is called yes. Vyasa. Yeah. So what does it mean here, uh, Srila? Srila Mataji is a 
denominator, uh, it represents a respectful address. We call Shri, Srimati. Srila okay. is a is still higher uh, place of respect. That is why it is called. And only Acharyas, very self-realized and elevated souls, they are addressed as Srila. Srila Prabhupada, Srila Hari Das Thakur, Srila uh, Sanatana Goswami, all these are called as Srila because they were elevated, liberated souls. They had no material entanglement and they were totally devoted to devotional service of Lord Krishna. So they are called Srila. They are most respectful address that can, we can have. In the existing life, they got the, uh, like Srila, no? not after that uh, when they are no, gone. No. Yeah. When they they received initiation, Mataji, when they received the Diksha, thereafter this name came up. Okay, 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 Prabhuji. Thank you. So I request Srila Srila Mataji to yes. She exposed part of her body to his view and sat down at his doorstep. She spoke to him in very sweet words, Oh my dear Thakur, oh great preacher, great devotee, you are so beautifully built and your youth is just beginning. What woman could control her mind after seeing you? I am so eager to be united with you. My mind is greedy for this. If I don't obtain you, I shall die. Haridas Thakur replied, I shall accept you without fail, but you will have to wait until I finish chanting Hare Krishna on my beds. Until I do, please, please sit down here and listen to the chanting of the holy name. As soon as I, I am finished, I shall fulfill your desire. Hearing this, the prostitute remained sitting there until the light of morning appeared. When she saw it was morning, she stood up and left. She went to Ramachandran Khan. Still... <clears throat> And said, I shall have union with him. Yes. Hearing this, the prostitute prostitute remained prostitute remained still sitting there yeah, fine. on his bed until the light in morning of morning appeared. When she saw it was morning, she stood up and left. She went to Ramachandran Khan and said, Today Haridas Thakur has promised to enjoy with me. Tomorrow, certainly, I shall have union with him. Union with him. Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Thank you, Mataji. So we have seen that Ramachandran uh, Thakur made a conspiracy and he called the most beautiful uh, of the prostitute of the place and directed her to have union with uh, Haridas Thakur. As, and uh, he wanted to send constables also so that they could arrest him uh, on the spot. But arrest uh, Haridas Thakur. But what happened? She refused that not first day, let me have the union first with Haridas Thakur. Then I'll, second day or sometimes thereafter, I shall uh, take the constable. She waits for whole night. And Haridas Thakur is so polite, merciful to this fallen soul that he said, just wait. I, he promised that to let me finish my chanting. And when I'm done, then uh, I will uh, have company with you. Yes. Then Chanda Mataji. Yes, Prabhuji. The next evening. Yes. Prostitute delivered by evening. The prostitute returned to Haridas Thakur's cottage and he gave her many uh, assurance. He said, last night you were disappointed. Please excuse my offense. I shall certainly accept you. Please sit, uh, please sit down here and hear the chanting of the Hare Krishna Mahamantra until my regular chanting is finished. Then your desire will surely be fulfilled. After offering obeisances to the Tul uh, Tulsi, uh, Tulsi plant and Haridas Thakur, she, uh, she sat down at the door. Hearing Haridas Thakur chanting the Hare Krishna Mahamantra, she also chanted, Oh, oh my Lord Hari, Oh my Lord Hari, 
when the night came to an end the prostitute was restless when haridas thakur saw this he said i have made a vow to chant 10 million names of krishna this month i have taken this vow but now the month is uh, ne uh, nearing its end i thought today i would be able to finish i tried my best to chant hari krishna all night but still i have not finished tomorrow i will surely finish and my vow will be fulfilled then it will be possible me to enjoy a uh, with you in full freedom so you can see here first day uh, haridas thakur said just wait till the morning to like finish my uh, chanting and then i will uh, have company with you or union with you second night he said just just wait because i have taken a vow to chant uh, 1 million 10 million names of lord krishna this month so let me i hope i shall finish this night but you can see the change of heart of this lady the prostitute she paid obeisances to tulsi maharani and sat down at the goddess door and she also started chanting oh my lord hari oh my lord hari so this is the association the tremendous change or transformation that the association of a pure devotee can bring in the heart of a fallen soul so this is a beautiful uh, statement now third day what happens yes ऑलफुलटी The prostitute then returned to the Ramachandra Khan and informed him of what had happened. The next night, she went earlier at the beginning of the evening and stayed with Haridas Thakur. After offering obeisances to the tulsi plant and Haridas Thakur, she sat on the doorstep. As she heard Haridas Thakur's chanting, she also personally chanted Hari Hari. Today, it will be possible for me to finish my vow of chanting ten million names of Krishna this month. Haridas Thakur informed her, "Then I will satisfy all your desires." So you can see here the most fallen souls when they listen the name of glory of uh, Hari Nam or the Hari Krishna Mahamantra. What kind of transformation they did come? And Haridas Thakur, right from day one, was watching this, observing this very uh, uh, quietly. And second day she started chanting, and third day again you can see here she started chanting and. Uh, then he also promised that continue chanting and i will give you company yes next is kushmu mata ji the prostitute replied kindly act kindly act as my spiritual master instruct me in my duty so i can become free from material material stains haridas to haridas thakur said immediately go home and distribute when whatever property you have to the brahmans then come back to the cottage and stay here forever in krishna consciousness chant the hari krishna mantra continuously and serve the tulsi plant by watering her and offering prayer to her in this way you you will very soon achieve the shelter of the lotus lotus feet feet of krishna after giving the prostitute these instructions haridas Haridas Thakur stood up and left that place continuously chatting Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Thank you Mata ji So now prostitute is completely transformed and she was ready to she forgot about having union with Haridas Thakur and followed the instruction of Haridas Thakur who told him Go and distribute every whatever property I have got, and come back to me. Stay in this cottage and uh, chant the holy name of. And thereafter, Hari Das Thakur left his cottage, and uh, the lady who was salvaged from this vice uh, and uh, uh, viceful uh, atmosphere, she started chanting the holy name of Hari uh, Krishna. Yes, Pankaj Prabhuji. 
हरे कृष्णा पंकज प्रभु जी पंकज सुबे प्रभु जी प्लीज अनम्यूट योर सेल्फ सुन आफ्टर सुन आफ्टर पस्टिट्यूट डिस्ट्रीब्यूट वॉट एवर हाउस होल्ड पोजिशन सी हैड अ ब्राह्मीन इन अकॉर्डेंस विद हर स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर ऑर्डर सी सेव हर क्लीन एंड स्टे विद इन द कॉटेज इन द फॉरेस्ट वेरिंग ओनली वन क्लोथ फॉलोइंग द फोर स्टेप ऑफ हर स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर शी बिगेन चैंटिंग द हरे कृष्णा महामंत्र थ्री लैक टाइम्स डेली सी चैंटेड फॉर होल डे एंड नाइट she works ship the tulsi plant instead of eating regular she chewed whatever food she received as a um and if nothing was supplied she she would fast thus by eating a little and fasting she conquered the sense as soon as she controlled her sense the symptom of love of the god appeared in her person in the way the prostitute became the famous devotee she was a very advanced in spiritual life so you can see uh, we day one we discussed that uh, we can uh, the chanting of hari krishna mahamantra purifies our existence both internally as well as uh, externally and also it get uh, gives us freedom for all pastful activities that we have past sinful activities that we have conducted and also the reactions to those sinful activities are also eliminated so of millions of births before not this birth alone many many births before the all sinful activities they are eliminated no reaction in this life no prarabdh or aprarabdh and there is no kutam or vijam and the sins are completely washed away and one becomes details from material attachment and also attend say transcendental nature so this is the story of could uh, someone uh, like would someone like to summarize this story of uh, past time of haridas thakur and the prostitute anyone okay so i just uh, in a few words i try to summarize that haridas thakur was a elevated soul right from the beginning he he was he took birth in uh, uh, while you know bangladesh and he in a muslim family but uh, right from the childhood is he was chanting holy name of lord krishna and local muslim population they were against him but ultimately there was a trial order against him he said cut my body into multiple pieces but i will not stop chanting hari nam hari nama and also he was beaten up in 22 market places then thrown in ganges he came out he took shelter even out of public gaze in uh, hiding in multiple places so that nobody could see him chanting the holy name and ultimately uh, he uh, the king of that place or the nawab of that district uh, ramchandra khan he he was a convert from hindu to muslim he was the ruler of that area he ordered Uh, this person to be sent to a trial. Uh, there was a trial, and all all those things happened. But he continued chanting, and he made this uh, this Nawab made a conspiracy to defame uh, and uh, get him uh, red uh, caught uh, uh, red handed with the with the prostitute. The the, the conspiracy was uh, executed. The result was that uh, prostitute went to the cottage or the bhajan kutir of. Uh, So this uh, Hari Das Thakur, who was named as Nama Chari after initiation by this, none other than Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and uh, he was chanting evening time. The prostitute reaches the cottage. She waits. She appreciates his beautiful body and handsome young man. You are such a. I want to. Nobody. Uh, all. Uh, all the ladies would like to have union with you. All kind of. Uh, you know. Uh, allurement she gave to uh, haridas thakur but he was firm in chanting and he said look let me finish my round of chanting i will have union with you the day broke and she left again same evening she came comes again and she again uh, starts uh, the same thing i want to have union with you haridas thakur tricked her that look i have to finish my 10 uh, 10 million times of hari uh, uh, chanting this month i have promised and taken a vow so let me finish that and i'm sure this night is shall be over 
But the, the heart got transformed. She start, also started chanting, sitting, waiting at the door of the cottage. Third night again, she went, goes there and Harita Thakur now knows that she is uh, paying obeisances to uh, Tulsi Maharani and also chanting Harinam. So he assures that he was assured that he is now trans totally transformed. Such merciful are the, our Acharyas and Vaishnavas, pure devotees. Uh, they always think of salvaging the fallen souls. So ultimately, uh, instruction was given by Harida Thakur: this prostitute, leave all to uh, dispose of all your property and every material belongings. Come to this kutir and to uh, Harinam Ja or the Hare Krishna Mahamantra. And at least she complies with it. So this is the uh, pastime of Harida Thakur when he was a child. So she became very advanced in this life. Even. So the holy name is, uh, yes, anyone would like to read who, who has not yet read? Uh, yes, Prabhuji, can I? Yeah, please go ahead. <clears throat> the holy name is the universal and supreme religion for this age. Dhyayayan. This I am not able to read actually. No problem. Please read the translation. No problem. <clears throat> Whatever is achieved by meditation in Sat Yoga, by performance of Yajna in Treta, Treta Yoga, or by the worship of Krishna's lotus feet in Dwapara, Dwap, Dwapara Yuga, is also obtained in the age of Kali simply by chanting and glorifying Lord Keshava. Vishnu Purana 6.2.17 Padma Purana Uttarakhand 72.25 and Brahan Naradiya Purana Naradi Purana 38.97. Let's yes. chant four rounds. Uh, so thank you, Prabhuji. So Dhaya Yan Krate Yagya Yagyes, Treta Yam Dwapare Archanyam, Archanya, Archanya, and then Yad Apnoti Tad Apnoti Kalau Sankirtana Keshavam. In the Kalyu Sankirtana of Keshavam. Is the it brings about the same results which in Archana of deity in Dwapar you brought and in Treta you whatever Yajas brought and whatever Dhyana Krite in the Satyuga brought. So the result, same result is obtained. So this is the glory Mahima of Hari Nam or chanting of Hare Krishna Mahamantra. So uh, I think everybody is now chanting at least one, one round daily. Uh, any time at your convenience and on beads, on fingers, it is not desirable. So please obtain a copy of a uh, uh, bag, uh, you know, jab bag and jab mala and do this chanting also. So uh, after chanting four rounds, we shall have uh, attendance link and then I will share with it. So please fill in the attendance link also. For chanting, I will share with you uh, that uh, chanting by Lord just a minute yes Ushamata you wanted to say something So no, we'll, I think that's... Okay. So we'll chant with the Srila Prabhupada and uh, try to keep keep pace with him. And this is Panchatat Mahamantra or Pranam Mantra, which I told that after completing one round of chanting, we have to chant Panchatat Mahamantra because whatever offenses we have committed uh, during chanting or on 108 beats, we seek forgiveness all the five tattvas of all, uh, of all the five uh, sages and uh, continue our chanting. So we'll start here and we'll have, try, please keep, try to keep pace with uh, this um, chanting by Srila Prabhupada. <laughs> Hare Krishna, 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 Hare